Dozy. Guess what day it is? It is Awesome Dozer. Woo! Good boy. Do you have a cat toy in your mouth? Well, that is perfect for today's episode. Good boy. Good boy. Guess what day it is? It's your sister's birthday. Yes. So, guys, we're celebrating a very special birthday to our kitten Raven. She is turning one years old. Get your nose out of here. Come here. Come here. What was he trying to get? Oh, of course my cord. He had both of these. No, Dozer. You're gonna be distracting. Do you have to go in your crate? What is he doing? What are you doing? Are you just being a good boy? Or are you trying to be suspicious? Guys, look how big he has gotten. I'm sorry I haven't posted in like a really long time, but we need the busy stuff to do. Give him a little itch. Yeah, so guys, I'm gonna stop talking and let's get decorated. Start with this very cute happy birthday sign and I will show you guys where I'm gonna put it. There we go, we finally got the happy birthday sign set up. It is right above all my posters and stuff. Very high up <laughs> for Raven. And I'm gonna set up the next de decoration now. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna set up this one. This is a very big banner, and I'm sorry that Dozer isn't here. Um, he's being way, way, way too crazy, but we'll have him in the video a little later. And boom, I finally got this set up, and I wanted to put it over here since it is their height of level. Um, I, if you guys didn't know, I do have three cats, and they're all going to be partying in here. I could take some um, pictures and post them on Instagram. Also, go follow my Instagram right here. So we do have a bag full of all decorations that hang from the ceiling. So let's get into it. A few moments later. In my room, I just set up this very cute little thing. It's just an emoji um, face that I set up on my floor. And I think we're gonna really like the noise of it. Let's get into all the other decorations. Guys, we are finally done with decorating and I'm gonna show you now. This is my other dog, his name is Dexy. He is about six years old and he's very playful. He is amazing. And as you can see here, he is wearing a little birthday bandana or whatever you call it. <laughs> um, and I'm feeling we have all these cute little things for them to see. Sister here, her name is Lilo. She is about six years old too. Same as Dexy, the little birthday boy. And then we have Alvin, he is about, I'm pretty sure seven or, or eight. He's very sweet and likes to meow. His meow is very weird, no offense Alvin. And let's just throw little toys down here for when Raven gets here. I also set up some plates for Raven, so we're gonna go to PetSmart later too. And we're gonna get Raven a birthday cake and of course for the other cats too. Um, so yeah, let's get the birthday girl, woo! Look who I have, it's the birthday girl! Woo, I'm gonna show you guys really quick. Here she is, it is Raven. She is clearly actually looking around a lot. And yes, she is very skittish, but she's so sweet. Um, there's my dog up there and she just ran away. It's gonna be a crazy house or crazy room because it's my room. And of course, she went under the bed. That's amazing. But Dexy dear, we're gonna celebrate. Woo, good boy, come here. Up, 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 up. Woo, good boy. We're gonna celebrate. We're gonna celebrate. Guys, I almost forgot to do something. Balloons! Yes, we're gonna blow some balloons up, so let's get started. A very sneaky girl. I just caught. Room is now decorated. <laughs> um, there is a ton of balloons. Later. Guys, we're back and it is now another day since I didn't have much time to record yesterday but Dozer is over here in his pen it is morning and we just woke up 
and sadly all the decorations in my room are gone but we are still gonna celebrate we're gonna get Raven down here we are now gonna celebrate another day of Raven's first birthday it's gonna be another big day today and we're gonna have cake today for the cats and of course Dozy by the way guys it is now another day and he already got bigger he has his toy right now time to introduce Dozer over here to balloons his first reaction of all these balloons he is going crazy he's just barking before yes Dozer these are balloons and there's Dexy I'm sorry Dex that you don't really like balloons see it's a balloon yes it's a balloon it's a balloon Woo, don't pop it. You'll be terrified of them if you pop it. It's a balloon, Dozy. Yes, it's a balloon. It's a balloon. You like balloons? Don't try to eat. No, Dozy, don't try to eat it. We're going to be introducing you to balloons. We're going to put them in your crate with Raven because Raven loves Dozy. And Dozy loves Raven. They get along very well. So let's get Raven. We now have Raven over here. She is on top of Dozer's crate, and he's just chilling over here. Are you just chilling on the table? <coughs> Dozy, stop barking. We're going to have some cake soon. We're going to go make some homemade cake. Good boy, Dozy. Good boy. You met Raven. She's very nice, right? But guess what time it is. Balloon time. Do you want to attack some balloons, Dozy? Also, guys, I wasn't recording before, but Dozer actually got a balloon into his pen. I have no idea how. It was, like, one of the smaller ones. But he popped one, and he was going crazy. He loved it, and he was barking at the other ones. He wanted to attack all of them. So I don't want him to, like, be afraid of balloons for the rest of his life, so I'm not going to, like, let him attack, like, fully into it and popping them. I'm just going to let him check it out, sniff them. So let's get started. Our beautiful girl Raven, we are going to celebrate her birthday later today and we're going to sing happy birthday and we're going to make some homemade cake. So we have all the balloons over here because I don't want Dozer to get like too freaked out or go too crazy because I have these two balloons right here and he is patiently waiting on top of his fox. If you guys remember from the episode right here, five minutes later, he had the same toy. So proud of himself. Meanwhile, his friend again of Dozer going to PetSmart. This is his little fox. His hair's everywhere. So let's get him into these balloons. Guys, I feel bad. Do you guys think I should give him a balloon? I just don't want him to get scared. Dozy, I just don't want you to get scared, little boy. I can't believe how big he is. I think he's about four months. And he's getting very big. And he also knocked down the shelf once. Um, yeah. So those, I feel bad. I'm going to give him one. He just hit those. <laughs> Good boy. Woo. Get those balloons, those. I just had to give him one. Woo. Good boy. Don't pop it, little boy. You go crazy about him. You go crazy. Woo. Good boy. Please don't pop it. No, 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 no. Sorry, guys, about the bad view. <laughs> sit. Can you sit? You'll get it if you sit. I wish I had better viewing. <laughs> I have a GoPro that we're going to take him back to the lake soon. We actually took him back to the lake. And here's a video of him swimming for the second time. No, sir. Here, baby. Get it, Doze. Get it, get it. Come on, get it, Doze. Get it. Woo, good boy. Good boy, you got it. You got it, little boy. He just popped it and he didn't even get scared. That is such good news. Good boy, Dozy. Now I can trust you more. Well, let's go get your sister cat. Woo. You want another one? Are you kidding? Get patience, Dozy. Get patience. I'm going to give you one as soon as Raven comes down. Woo, good boy. Soccer. 
Raven, stop stalking people. Meanwhile, <laughs> still trying to get the balloons five minutes later. I feel bad. Little kitty, we're gonna make your own homemade little cake, cupcake, cookies, anything you would like. But it has to be cat and dog friendly. I know you love it because you love anything. We can't forget about gorgeous little Lilu. Lilu, why do you turn your back on me? And Alvin over here. Right, Alvy? He's sleeping. I don't want to disturb him. It's time to make the homemade dog recipe. Let's get started. To get started, you're going to need flour, peanut butter, one egg, baking powder, and water. Now we are going to add in our peanut butter and everything else. Mix until it's you're mixed. done mixing. It should look like this. And let's get started. We are going to flour our countertop just so it doesn't stick. Spread it all around. Make sure it's all good. Later today, we're also going to um, sing Happy Birthday to Raven. So, rub it on your hands. Take about a fist size of your mixture and put it out in your pan. And if it sticks a little bit, just put some more flour on your hands. Might be, this part might be a little bit messy, but it works. I did this plenty of times. Now, I don't have a rolling pin. Well, I do, but I just cannot find it, so this might get a little messy, but I'm going to use this to just roll it out a little. And if it's sticking like this is, we're going to use some olive oil spray, so let's get that. With your olive oil, you're just going to spritz your rolling pin or a flat surface. I actually don't have a spray, so I'm just going to dip this in mine. So I just olive oil my rolling pin, and now let's try it out. Perfect. Obviously it is sticking still, but it's not all goopy and getting everywhere. And it just comes right off when you want it to. That's perfect. Roll it out till it is pretty thin like this. And now let's start. So once your dough is all rolled out like this, we will have still a little bit of dough left, but we will use that later. We are going to get some cookie cutters and make the shape of a bone, but I do not have cookie cutters. So I'm just going to use a knife. So I cannot get the shapes of a bone, so I just made mine little balls, as you can see in the time lapse. But it is now time to cook. Let's get started. I'll get a cookie pan, and we are going to place our little dough on our pan. But first, so they don't stick, let's spray it with some pan. Shake it around a little bit. Now let's start placing. And guys, they don't have to be perfect. It's just for animals, it's not for humans. I mean, obviously you can have it because um, there is nothing that is not bad for humans in here. Let's just spread them out a little bit and we are done. It's time to cook in the oven. For a little flavoring, I'm going to give Dozer's Kibble a little taste inside. So we're going to just stuff this inside of it. And we are done. Now, with our extra dough, we are going to grab our dough. And just a tiny little bit, sorry about the bowl in the way, we are just going to cover the treat so it does not burn. And now, keep on doing it to the rest. By the way, guys, this is optional. You don't have to put the kibble in here. It just makes it taste a little bit better for them because it just does give um, a little more flavor. So perfect. All right. We're almost done, and I hope you guys are really enjoying this episode so far because cooking, um, Dozer loves snacks and any type of treat, 
because he is a golden retriever, he will eat anything. And he is almost four months old, guys. He's almost, he's almost four months. I cannot believe this. We have one more to do, but this is how they look. Guys, can't really see, but you can barely see the kibble in there. And let's get cooking. Now, guys, we are gonna put our cookies in the oven for 20 minutes. Here we go. Be careful not to burn yourself. Let's close it up. And hit 20 minutes. And start. Good job. We have to have a little helper to help me clean up. Good boy, Daxie. Now while the dog treats are baking, we are making the cats. All you will need is flour, tuna, an egg, some of their kibble, catnip, this is optional, and some vegetable oil. And we are gonna need my blender over here too. So let's get started. First, you're going to add in your tuna. And now you're going to add in your egg. Just put this to the side. And now you are going to add in your flour. And of course, your olive oil. Let's start mixing. Put your lid on in this. Make sure it's all nice and tight. And let's start mixing. Once it is done mixing, we are now going to pour our kibble in and our catnip. It's a very strong scent right here. And now with a spoon, we are going to scrape all of it into a clean bowl. Now let's mix it some more. The cats are going to go crazy in this since like, there's so much catnip. Right now, my dog Dex, and he is just cleaning the floor of treats that possibly could have been spilled. Also, guys, thank you so much for 60 subscribers. My goal is 100. So your mixer should look something like this. It's okay if it doesn't look perfect, but mix it as much as you can to make it as smooth. And let's get into the oven. Now we are going to spray the pan onto our pan so our mixer doesn't stick. Now we are going to get some flour for our hands so that it don't stick to us. Got some flour on my hands and now of our mixture we are going to take about this much and just roll it in a ball on our hands. Again, this part might be a little bit messy but our cats are gonna love it, depending on your cat though. They should be about this size and just place them on the pan and do it until as many as you want. I just took the dog treats out of the oven and this is how they came out. They look amazing. They are not too hard, they are not too soft, they are perfect. So I think the dogs are gonna love them. I'm gonna put our treats in the oven for about six to 12 minutes. Guess what time it is? While the cat treats are cooking, we are giving the dogs their treats. And Dex and Dozer are not allowed together yet, but they will soon. So let's try Dex. First tester, do you like it? Little sniff, yes. Gentle bite there. Is that a yes? Is that a yes? What is it? 
Here you go. Here, what if I break a little piece apart? There we go. Broke. He's a very picky little doggo. Okay, yes, we passed the test. He just couldn't eat that whole thing. <laughs> He's very gentle with food. One little more. Okay, so I think Dexy says he passes the test. Let's try that big one. You like that big one? Yes, good boy. You like it? Very satisfying little boy. All right, but guess what the big time is? All the balloons are over here. Dozer! Woo, good boy! Want another the treat? Nice little Instagram post right here. Want a snack? Want to go eat? I'm trying to get a good picture. Yes? Okay. Now, a nice one for Dozer. Wait. Good boy. First test. I think that's a big approve over there. You like it, Doze? Make sure you chew it. It's a little hard for him to chew. And he lays down. Yep. That's a good boy. He's going very slow with this. Was that an approve? Was that an approve? You liked it. You liked that. Woo, good boy. Good boy, Dozy. You're getting so big. You might be getting more later. Yes, you will. Yep. Ooh, these look good. For the cat. <laughs> Taking it out. Guys, this is how they turned out. They look pretty good. Let's just close this. All right, I think they turned out pretty good, guys. Um, but let's see if the cats like them. As these treats look really good. I think the cats are gonna love them. Well, let's go see. We are now going to bring these up to the cats. Here's all the balloons again. I feel like the cats are really gonna like these. Um, but we never know until we see them. Okay, Dexy is following us is Lilu. Let's see if she likes it. She's looking at it. Cats are very precise. Thinking about it? Alan. By the way, cats are very, um, I don't know the word. Oh, he just smelled that catnip. He's rubbing it against him. Yes, is it more of a treat? Or not a treat. Is it more of a play toy? Are you gonna go crazy? Yes, you like it? You like it? You you can, um you know, bite it, you know? You don't have to lick it. You can bite it. Here you go. Okay, I'm just gonna, like, you know, leave this here for you. Just, like, you know, he's eating it. Okay. Success for Alvin. Raven. Ravy. Wake up, little kitty. Yes, you love this. You love it. Yes, is that a success for you? She is eating it. <laughs> All the cats were rubbing in the catnip. Sorry, I didn't get Lilu, which is the girl cat, the first one. Um, she, I didn't get her own video that much, but Raven is clearly loving this big stretch. She just woke up from a nap, by the way. Yes. You can chew it. I don't get, cats like licking, they don't chew it. So fell on the ground there yep raven likes it and for all the cats two out of three is actually a success and lilu was eating a little bit i'm not sure if she finished it so for your cats this must be a very good idea so if you guys want to follow along go back to the recipe and just follow along with me i'm gonna let raven hit this around a little bit she's not gonna eat it since it's way too big for her but she can hit it around yes you like it? The cats actually never had like homemade treats like this. So it is actually their first time for Alvin in 12 years. Cause I, I'm, I, I'm sorry I said it wrong in earlier in the video, but I think Alvin's 12. 
Lilo's six or seven, like I said, and Raven is one. Because it's a happy birthday, girl. We're going to sing happy birthday to you later. Yes. Instagram photo for Raven, too. Want it? Please look at me. No? Okay, you're going to go up there. I'll put your king treat up here. It's a big stretch, kitty. You're a good girl, Ravy. You're a good girl. Oh, no. I. Oh, my God. She's going to start going crazy. I can already tell. This happened before with her and Catnip. She goes absolutely crazy. So, let's just, like, back away and go out of the door. There's Dex. Now all going to sing happy birthday to Raven. Three, two, one. Happy birthday, Ravy. Happy birthday, Ravy. Good girl. Woo, you get another treat. Go get it. Good girl. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Raven's first birthday. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Please make sure to get me to 100 subscribers. That would be really cool. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Um, say bye to those are in the comments and Raven. Say happy birthday to Raven in the comments. Peace out, guys.